Hey everybody, my name is Alan Tukmar Chef, and today we're going to be learning how to vinyl scratch in FL Studio using Grow Speed. Before we get into this video, don't expect any like super dope scratches because we are trying to replicate a vinyl record, so it's not going to sound the same, obviously. But at least we can make it sound like someone's scratching on a turntable. So first of all, I'm gonna show you how it will sound at the end and then we're going to learn how to make it. So I'm gonna be showing you an example of my latest track called Creepy Man. And this is kind of a jazzy chill hop track, uh, super experimental, but let's check out the scratch here. So pay attention to this vocal here. Okay, so if you did not catch that, this is the scratch solo here. As you can see, it kind of sounds like a scratch, but not really. Although if you layer this kind of scratch on top of a bunch of sounds, then uh, it might sound pretty cool, so. So what initially this is, this is just a little vocal. With a little bit of grow speed on top. All right, so let's dive into this. Let me select it. And uh, let's just go to the mixer here and choose grow speed. Okay, so to start off, we'll just go to an empty slot here. And we're going to be creating a couple of points here. So we want one point here, one point there, right there. And uh, for now, let's just leave it as it is. And we're going to just right click select single curve same thing here single curve and now we can kind of you know curve it like that and before we do that i'm just going to create another point on top like that all right cool and uh, to achieve that scratchy effect we're going to mess around with these points here so, so i'm actually going to create another point right there and kind of drag it like that maybe another one there and just to create a little wave. As you can see it kind of sounds like a scratch already. That's pretty much the vinyl scratch. So like I said, it doesn't sound like a scratch just on its own like that. But if you combine it with some layers, it will sound pretty dope in the background. So let's just listen to that one more time on uh, the hook or the chorus. Up, but if you don't want to go through all of that, you know, kind of drawing, then there's an alternative method, and uh, there's actually a preset in Grow Speed to do that. So, what you do is you just go to Grow Speed and uh, you can just select the Complex 7 preset here, and uh, that's going to do the same thing. <laughs> As you can see, so uh, it just creates this extra tail here, uh, which kind of lowers down the pitch of the vocal, but we don't really need that, so we're just going to remove it. But this is the same thing that uh, that we had here, only it's a little bit more uniform, as you can see. So if you don't want to go through all of that, just click on the complex seven preset. The real reason why I started off the tutorial by manually creating the vinyl scratch is because I want you to see that it is possible to do it on your own. 
without any sort of presets. So uh, yeah, that was the whole goal. But yeah, if you're lazy, just use the complex seven preset. guys thank you for watching hope you enjoyed this little interesting tip and uh, see you in the next one guys peace